Greetings traders, it's Tuesday, February 24th, 2015, and I'm just getting in here to do a little trading. Thought I'd take a trade for the day's over, and uh, I'll come right back after I've taken the trade, and let's see if we can't hit a quick 20 ticks for the day. 20 ticks a day is all you really need, but uh, that's all I got time for today, so anyway, I'll come back. Take one trade for 20 ticks. Be right back. Okay, I have just taken a short position here. 20 tick stop. And, um, you know what? I am going to go, let's see, I'm at uh, 18. I'm going to go for 30 on this one. 18 would be down to 98. Take it down to 88. Eighty-eight on the exit for thirty ticks. Should be able to get this here. Show you what it looks like. Looks very good. You see we got we got a code two short entry. <laughs> right when the chart looks like that. You know. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. <laughs> so, it's a pretty good bet for a 30 tick slide down here. It might go even further. Take a look at the daily here. It might get be getting ready to slide down. There's also another technical reason for this. Uh, let me see if I can explain it without giving it away. For you code traders out there, the codes today, the code twos, were very tight. You know, almost non-existent even. They're so tight. This is the last one left. A lot of times when that happens, and those are really tight, this last one will be the one that makes the big move. Because it's got to move somewhere. On one of the codes, it's got to move somewhere. So, since it hasn't really moved today, it, there's a mathematical likelihood that this would be the one that it will move on. So, in light of that, I'm simply only going for 30 ticks. That's all. I'm going with the fact that it's been tight. And that this is the last one. I'm going with the fact that the chart's going straight down. I'm going with the fact that I got a code too short. I'm going with the fact that I normally can get 20 anyway. And all I'm doing is asking for an additional 10. The mathematics on this trade is probably pretty high. I'd say 70%. A solid 70%. If I want to decrease the, ma the mathematics to 75%, I could probably I could probably get it at 20 and increase it to that. Anyway, I'm in, going for the 30 ticks. I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back shortly and show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. But uh, it should it should work. I mean, you got the chart, got the code. And by the way, uh, this code too was also very very tight. This is the break. It's finally going to make a break here. How far will it go? I don't know. But if you wanted to, you know, make a like a bet on something, you like to gamble type of thing, this would be one to gamble on to go for 50, 100 ticks right here. Because take a look at the daily. See, look at the daily. See how it's just starting off, or it's like a continuation of the of the red bar, red bar, red bar, and now a line up here with a red bar starting to go down with a code two short entry. 
So all it's got to do is go down here and break below that low, and then we're in a whole new territory of going down here. See what I mean? So this would be one to, to you know, if you wanted to roll the dice on it, instead of just going for 20, 30 ticks, you could go for something substantially more than that right here. And one of the ways that you know is because of the tightness in the code today. Even the Euro code was extremely tight. Like nothing there at all. And the USA code, same thing. Nothing there at all. Whenever that happens, it's like a rubber band being stretched and it gets tight. And then when you let go, it snaps. That's what this could be right here, right now. It could be the snap, getting ready to snap down and start its descent and fall. Right here, right now. And I'm just going for 30 to keep the math very high. But if I wanted to roll the dice a little bit, see if I could hit some sevens, pair of sevens, this would be a place to go for it, right? here based upon the code the implications of what the code has done today being very tight and the characteristic of it that once usually once it does that it'll snap and it'll use one of the codes to snap with right now it's in a perfect position to do it right here everything looks perfect the daily looks perfect 10 minute looks perfect. The one minute, it looks very good. <laughs> Look at the descent on the one minute. And then you get a, and followed by a code 2 entry. So it's like a continuation code 2 entry short. At the bottom of a daily chart, or the bot, well, getting close to its previous bottom that it made just a little bit ago. 10 minute going straight down. You know, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this right here. It's important to be able to see, to see it before it happens. So you got plenty of time to get in. Plenty of time to go short. Hasn't even made its move yet. Okay, I'll come back. I'm just going for 30 ticks. I'll be back shortly. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the USA code 2 is also short. So that's two short, two code 2 short entries right now on the chart. <laughs> this thing's going to go down. Here we go. I'm looking for the uh, exit door on this trade here. It is taking forever <laughs> to move anywhere. And uh, it's sort of a repeat of the previous session. The Euro session was, you know, for the most part, well, it started off pretty good, but uh, when it got into its normal range, it it um, just went sideways, and it went sideways in the in the USA session in a very tight range. And on this one so far, it's also been very tight, it's just going sideways in a sideways trading motion. I'll show you the 10 minute. It's getting ready to maybe break here. You can see it's just going sideways here. And it's at the bottom of the range. Right there is the bottom. Or right there now is the bottom. It's getting ready to maybe break that bottom. But it's just really tight. Finally got a move off the tightness. Now we're, I'm looking for the move, but it's getting late. So I'm looking for the exit door on this trade. Just waiting to see if it's going to break here. It's really slow. It's funny. Okay, I'm going to give it about well, no, no longer than 1:30. Let's say so. 24 more minutes. I'll wait and see if it'll break, break down. If not, I'm just going to exit. I'll definitely exit break even if it goes back up again. I'll just exit break even for the day. Otherwise, I'm looking for at least 20 ticks and looking for the 30 tick exit, which is set at 88, right there. So I'm not too too much farther to make it to the exit. Just need it to break, obviously. So I'll come back show it to you. Okay, it's popping up a little bit here. 
So I've put a break even stop on it now. 49.17. It's too late to, to uh, play games with this thing anymore. So it's either going to go down now and go hit the exit, or I'll get out somewhere down here once it breaks, or it's going to go back up and hit the break even stop. But one way or another, I need to get out of this trade soon. So I want to do one, one of the two. If it's still sitting right where it is or wherever it is in at 1.30, I'm just going to exit the trade. If it hasn't hit my break even stop, I'll just exit the trade manually. So I'll come back. This trade just cannot get anywhere at all. I'm looking to go ahead and just bail out. 27 minutes. Maybe I'll wait a couple more minutes, see if it breaks down here. If not, I'm just going to bail out. You're done for the day. I <laughs> can't get anywhere today. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. Went down a little bit, but didn't hit the 20 ticks. Needed to go down to 98 to hit 20. And it went down to like 01, I think. So it came close to hit 20, but not quite. Really, really tight. I'll wait two more minutes, and I'm going to get out. I'll be back. Seems to be maybe doing a dive here. 4901, I believe, is the low. Is it going to make a break? Looking for the break. 4901. Yep, I believe 4901 is the low. It's right at the low here. Come on. Make the break. Looking for the exit. Looking for the exit, and I want to see it break. If it does, I can get out somewhere down there very easily. Oh, that was, uh... Well, that wasn't exactly the break that I was looking for, exactly. But... I'll take it. You see what I mean by snapping? <laughs> and the thing is, is it's probably not done. It's probably going to continue to go down. Like for instance, let me show you the, uh, well, let me show you the, 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 uh, daily. Okay, look at the daily. See how it's just starting on the, the red bar down? There's a good chance it's going to continue to go down. Like I said, if you want to roll dice, roll sevens, See if, see if you can't hit it. This this would be one to go for it on. You can also see the 10 minute there too. You know, once you get the entry, boom, you just go for it. Whether it makes it or not remains to be seen. It could easily not make it. It just depends on whether it's going to continue from this point forward. Or, well, I'd say that's obvious. Yes, but, you know, there's, there's other factors involved in, in, involving the code. But it's it's a it's a place to go for it mathematically. The mathematics on this one aren't super good, but they're it's not a bad spot to go for it. Anyway, I hit my thirty ticks. Took forever to do it, but once it did it, it did it very quickly. Very, very quickly. looking for the break and the break came okay so you saw it for yourself with your own two eyes it's all a matter of knowing what will happen before it happens it may take a long time like it just did <laughs> it took quite a while it took uh, two hours but you know it, it doesn't matter really how so much how long it takes it just matters whether or not it works right whether or not you make it. And all I needed was one trade. It hit 30 ticks today. One trade per day, code 2 strategy for the oil futures market. Only works on oil. If code 2 does. Code, two, code 1 works with everything. But that was a code 2 trade. One trade per day strategy. You can see, works well. Had a couple bad days last week, but uh, before that was working over and over again. 
and now it's working working good. Worked yesterday, worked today. You know, it doesn't work every day, but it works most of the time, and that's what matters. It's a winning strategy. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow for some more trading, showing the power of knowing the codes in trading the futures in general, but oil specifically, especially with, of course, respect to code 2. So I'll be back tomorrow, traders. Happy trading out there. Hope you guys are learning and doing well. See you tomorrow.